And we're ready to go for our main event of the night. And we've just been told that they've decided to just limit this fight to three five-minute rounds. Originally, we announced it as a five five-minute round bout, but instead it will be a three five-minute round fight. And it's our Armstrong County Memorial Hospital bout of the night. And this is the big one. This is Chris Dempsey and Lewis Rumsey ready to do battle here at Stage AE in Pittsburgh tonight. If anyone's wondering why rounds like that change, why the amount of rounds would change, the reason for that is if somebody doesn't make weight, if there's a title fight or really any fight, somebody doesn't make weight. Um, this one was supposed to be a title fight, five five-minute rounds. Um, Rumsey didn't make weight. Uh, that negated the title fight. All right, let's take a look at our matchup. Chris Dempsey, 5 feet, 11 inches tall, 205 pounds, a record of 5 and 1 in the professional ranks here in the MMA, and a 73 inch reach. Lewis Rumsey, 5 feet, 10 inches tall, 205 pounds, a record of 9 wins and 9 defeats. He has a reach of 70 and a half inches. Rumsey is out of Williamsport, Pennsylvania, and trains at Team Vicious MMA. Dempsey, meanwhile, is from the Pittsburgh area. He's from Sewickley, Pennsylvania, and trains at Personal Training Tactics. And also the Mat Factory. Yeah, actually, Chris Dempsey trains at the Mat Factory. Um, great camp, as we just saw by uh, Dominic Mazzotta's performance. Um, another note on the uh, on the on the five five minute rounds, the reason why it went to three rounds, the weight issue. Rumsey had weight issues. They had a catch weight set, and then Rumsey still didn't make that weight. So I don't know if he had trouble in his personal life. What happened? Um, you know, they they say there's really no excuse to not make weight for a fight, but he didn't make it. And he had to cough up some of his purse to Dempsey. He was at the beach a couple weeks ago. That could be it. <laughs> it could be it's it. It's tough to train at the beach unless you're Rocky Balboa. <laughs> running out into the waves. That could be it. There's Lewis Rumsey right there, walking into stage AE, our arena, our fight venue tonight. We bring you Gladiators of the Cage, Chris Shovelin, Cody Tuttle, Ryan Fiock, and Jessica Evil Eye here with us tonight. We're glad to have Jessica in the ring as our ring reporter tonight. She's doing a fantastic job talking to all of our fighters. We should all get her autograph. We should. Rumsey did not have this hairstyle yesterday at the weigh-ins. I guess he waited, uh, you know, he wanted to debut it uh, tonight. I like that it matches the shirt that he walked out in. Yeah, it's an interesting look. It's the, the Dr. Seuss movie character look. <laughs> Orton hears a who or something. <laughs> to each his own. And Rumsey's got a ton of experience. He's got 18 professional fights. He's fought in you know, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Ohio, all over the East Coast. I kind of poked at uh, Rumsey's hair, but I'll say when I talked to him yesterday, he did seem, uh, he's the guy that likes to fight. That's the bottom line. Now Chris Dempsey enters the venue. Dempsey from Swickley, Pennsylvania, as we said. This is our main event. We got another Matt Factory fighter here. We got Eddie Vincent, Isaac Greeley, and Don Caker cornering. Let's take a look at the matchup for our main event here tonight. Chris Dempsey, five feet, 11 inches tall out of Swickley, Pennsylvania, 205 pounds. Professional record of five wins and one defeat, a reach of 73 inches. Lewis Rumsey out of Williamsport, Pennsylvania, trains at Team Vicious MMA. Rumsey, five feet, 10 inches tall, 205 pounds, a record of nine and nine as a pro, and a reach of 70 and a half inches. That's our Armstrong County Memorial Hospital rundown on these two fighters. Now let's go to our ring announcer for our main event. Brought to you by Armstrong Hospital, Dan Bogan. This is our main event of the evening. And before we begin it, let's bring in the Gladiator Girls. This is for the Gladiators of the Cage Championship. Show them that belt, ladies. 
Before we start this fight, once again, we'd like to remind you these bouts are approved and sanctioned by the Pennsylvania State Athletic Commission, Executive Director Greg Serb, the judges Philip Rogers, John Lepsevic, and Todd Krushka. Your referee again, Mr. Chip Snyder. The timekeeper is Steve Kruth, and your physician at ringside is Dr. Lawrence Biskin. Again, this is our main event of the evening for the Gladiators of the Cage Championship. Fighting out of the blue corner with a record of nine wins, nine losses, standing five feet, 10 inches tall. He weighed in at 208 pounds. He fights for Team Vicious MMA. He's from Williamsport, Pennsylvania. Welcome, Lewis Rumsey. And his opponent. Out of the red corner with a record of five wins, one loss. Standing five feet, 11 inches tall, he weighed in at 202 pounds. He fights out of the mat factory from Swickley, Pennsylvania, Chris Dempsey. I like the smirk on Lewis Rumsey's face when he was introduced. He knows he's in front of a hostile audience here tonight you know, as Dempsey is from the Pittsburgh region. You know, with 18 pro fights, Rumsey's probably no stranger to fighting in front of a hometown crowd for the favorite fighter. So it didn't face him at all that he was here in booze when his name was announced. Our main event of the night, the Armstrong County Memorial Hospital main event between Chris Dempsey and Lewis Rumsey. Chip Snyder is the referee, says it's time. Hostile crowd and a hostile opponent in Chris Dempsey who is a fantastic wrestler. Dempsey's attacking the neck, right in the clinch. Mentioned Isaac Greeley earlier in our broadcast. The, of course, the Pitt Johnstown fabled trainer, and Chris Dempsey trained with Isaac Greeley as well. Dempsey's got Rumsey in uh, sort He's of a neck He's going crank. for a submission right now. He's going for a submission. He actually showed this to us training in our gym. <laughs> it does not feel good at all. Looks like sort of a crucifix from a, a double underhooks position where Rumsey's head was pinned uh, with a lot of pressure on the neck, but Rumsey fought out of it, and he's on bottom in the half guard. Chris Dempsey employs some very interesting submission grappling, almost catch wrestling type of tactics. Uh, he's, he's, we've seen some interesting, like I said, we've worked with him personally in our gym. Rumsey's, he could be in some trouble. Yeah, Rumsey threw up an armbar and turned into a triangle. Dempsey slammed his way out of it and is looking to pass the guard. Dempsey, Dempsey's showing some great strength, picking him up and dumping him. Yeah, Dempsey's pretty pretty good at, at using his uh, strength to work his way out, keep him out of bad positions, and he used it well there because now he's on Rumsey's back. I saw Chris Dempsey Chris set uh, a grappling tournament recently as he pummels. Rumsey from the top position. Rumsey doing a good job of getting out, but he's back in the in a neck crank. It's another submission attempt right here. People, a lot of people wouldn't realize it. It's a submission attempt right here, and he slips out. Rumsey stayed calm and worked his way out of it. But he's got an arm trapped under Dempsey's legs, and Dempsey's looking to tweak his shoulder. He's got to pull that arm in closer to Rumsey's body, really, to do it effectively, I think, here. An Americana is going to be hard to finish against he's a really strong guy like that. As soon as the shoulder slips free, uh, you're going to have to switch to something else. It's almost like uh, Dempsey's a little bit, little bit borderline nonchalant in not being concerned about Rumsey's strength. Uh, as, as I was saying, uh, Dempsey was at a grappling tournament recently, went in there with a 315-pound purple belt in jiu-jitsu and just threw him around the cage at this tournament. Dempsey connecting with a couple of punches. Under 2.20 to go here in round one of our main event. Brought to you by Armstrong County Memorial Hospital here on Gladiators of the Cage. The first half of this fight has all been Dempsey on top, looking for submissions, mixing up the punches and the submissions. Going with some unorthodox moves to, you know, to really throw Rumsey off guard. Dempsey trying to open him up again, and here he goes. I was just about to say, I, I find it interesting that Dempsey's not throwing elbows, punches, no, no real strikes from the, from the dominant or top position. And, and it's almost like 
Dempsey's uh, getting some work in there right now. He, he trains like this every day and uh, pretty comfortable in this situation. We'll see if he starts raining down some punches or utilizes elbows. Under a minute, a minute and a half to go. Armstrong County Memorial Hospital round clock. Going back to that Americana. Rumsey's uh, staying calm. Trying to protect that shoulder. Look for his opportunity to escape. Cody, if, if Chris Dempsey put his head down on his hands, really pulled that in, it seems like he could he could finish that. You know, it's it's really tough from a mounted position because you know the mechanics just aren't there to, to really immobilize his shoulder when you're when you're on top of him like that. It's it's a lot easier to finish a mounted Kimura than an Americana just because of the way you're bending the shoulder. It's back on the neck, that same sort of uh, same sort of move. I honestly wish I could remember the name of that because uh, we spent some time working on that. It's a really interesting submission, and people don't expect it. Yeah, he's just controlling the chin with uh, with his hand and looping under on the far side. And when he gets on top, it looks like it's pressuring down on the neck pretty heavily. Armstrong County Memorial Hospital round clock down to 15 seconds now. Round number one, they're only going to go three rounds if they go that long. Originally scheduled for a five-round bout. Rumsey's Waiting looking for the to, horn. Rumsey's looking to stand up, but he's going to get saved by the bell here. And there it is, the end of round number one. Chris Dempsey has been on top most of that first round. Take a look at a couple of submission attempts perpetrated by Chris Dempsey on Lewis Rumsey. So here's that here's that chin strap, but he switched to double underhooks and he's got Rumsey's neck pinned under his arm. Uh, he's going to use this to get the takedown and get on top. He's putting a lot of pressure on Rumsey's neck. He can't, he can't really pop his head out. He manages to escape, but, but Dempsey's got the fight to the mat where he just kind of took over. Here we go with another look at that at that neck crank with the with the single arm putting pressure from the side control. That's just a little bit later in the round. Hey, credit to uh, to Rumsey. You know that that doesn't look like much, but it's a very uncomfortable position. Uh, tough guy to weather through that. Like I said, Chris Dempsey isn't afraid to get in there and and really go for it with 300 plus pound guys. And Rumsey's a tough guy to to hang in there. Chris Dempsey trained for a five round fight. He might have wanted to get a round in of work. He's leaving for Mexico at four in the morning, he said. So <laughs> maybe he wanted to get some more work in before he leaves for Mexico. Rumsey coming with a kick. You don't want to play around with a professional fighter, though. I can tell you. Dempsey still looks fresh, you know. He took a beating in the first round, but he came out firing some kicks. Yeah. You don't want to get too comfortable and, and stand out there and get caught by something. We saw that in the last fight. Back on that neck crank again. Rumsey's a tough, Rumsey's a tough dude. Dempsey realized it wasn't going to work from his position, and he switched back to some underhooks and looking for the takedown. Chris Dempsey might be wanting to employ one of the uh, you know signature Matt Factory uh, submissions to impress everybody. I don't know how you're going to keep up with your teammate on, on a night like tonight after what Mazada did. Tough act to follow with Mazada's head kick KO. Maybe Dempsey will do it too. We'll see. Rumsey's hanging in there. He's throwing punches. Axe kick from Rumsey. A little axe kick that connected. Dempsey closed the distance right away. He did not want to play around. Out in range with Rumsey. Yeah, very unorthodox striking. You got to keep in mind, Rumsey, it, it doesn't always mean anything, but he's wearing Muay Thai shorts. You know, he he wants to stay at range probably and catch Dempsey with something. Rumsey's looking for a takedown of his own, but his head's stuck. And now he's looking to disengage from this clinch and get back to striking range. Really a wrestling clinic by Chris Dempsey tonight so far. Well, Dempsey was having none of that disengaging, and he followed him, you know, right back to the cage, and he's back on that takedown.
Coming down to the three minute mark of round two. This bout, our main event between Chris Dempsey and Lewis Rumsey, brought to you by Armstrong County Memorial Hospital. A lot of hand fighting going on as Dempsey changed levels looking for that takedown. Double underhooks by Dempsey now. Oh, Rumsey. Rumsey keeps pummeling on that, that right arm to, to make sure that Dempsey doesn't get that underhook. Knees to the body, but Rumsey looks unfazed. Rumsey's smiling, actually, and he just threw a knee of his own, and it didn't look like it felt good for Dempsey. Now he's on Dempsey's neck. Dempsey powers out of it, fires back with some punches. Rumsey's still smiling. <laughs> well, right now, Chris Dempsey's really just wrestling him, you know? I, I don't think Rumsey's afraid of Dempsey striking. I think it's an aspect of, of his game that, that Chris has been working on. Um, he's really a wrestler. Rumsey just used the cage. He pushed off with his feet and snapped uh, Dempsey down into a front headlock. He's going to have a hard time getting around the corner to his back without Dempsey uh, popping up into a takedown. This is Chris Dempsey's world. It, 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 Rumsey's on top, putting his weight on, but Dempsey's very relaxed here, very relaxed. He's just looking for his opportunity to, to catch one of those legs and turn it into a takedown of his own. Looks like he's trying to set up a darts jump, maybe. Anaconda. He's going to have to get his right arm in deeper to set up either one of those. I think Dempsey's, Dempsey's looking to, to sit out, possibly. He's just controlling the arms, keeping his neck safe. Last 90 seconds of the second round brought to you by Armstrong County Memorial Hospital. And they break. Nice escape by Dempsey. Chris Dempsey can take a shot, but he better be careful standing here in Rumsey's range. He doesn't want to do this too long. Crowd is definitely active for this one. Dempsey's on the single leg, but Rumsey sent him sliding back across the middle of the canvas. Is Rumsey starting to get some momentum here? He, he, is. he is. He is. He's absolutely unafraid. But Dempsey fires back. I, I think Chris Dempsey really needs to utilize some elbows. He he's keeping things fairly rudimentary in terms of his strategy. You know, wrestling, some one-two punches, big one-twos. I'd love to see some straight punches from Dempsey and some elbows. 30 seconds left in round two on our Armstrong County Memorial Hospital round clock. Rumsey looks like a wily veteran Absolutely. right now. We're back in the front headlock. Rumsey's looking to possibly set up the choke or maybe spin around to the back. Dempsey's a tough wrestler. You can never underestimate an opponent. 10 seconds to go. And time has expired in this second round. We got some life in uh, Rumsey that round. He's bouncing around right now, smile on his face. Rumsey did get active in that second round. Let's take a look at the axe kick. Some of the other got a things little, that he brought. A little Mirko Krokop action here, throwing an axe kick in the middle of the cage. That'll catch anybody off guard. Nobody expects something like that coming at him. Sometimes even things that don't land solid and clean, um, it's hard for people unless you have fought, unless you have trained, unless you've experienced just something clipping you even a little bit, what effect that can have. That ax kick could catch your collarbone in such a way, doesn't look horrible, but man, it sticks you with you. Game. Yeah, absolutely. Guys, I saw Isaac Greeley First of all, Rumsey looks like he's up and ready to come back. Um, he seems like he's got a head of steam. Isaac Greeley came in the cage with two hard claps and a look on his face like he might be ready to tell Chris it's time to get to work and get serious. So we'll see what happens this that's round, how Chris comes out. That's the thing, Rumsey looks like he's got Dempsey right where he would want this fight to go. This is the third and final round. Big shot from Dempsey right off the bat. Now he's baiting him. He wants Dempsey to throw a one-two. He's willing to take those shots to try to fire back counters. For the first time, we, get, we see uh, Rumsey briefly pressing Dempsey's back up against the case, getting the better in the clinch, but Dempsey was able to instantly reverse it and try and work back to that neck. 
elbows here uh, by Chris Dempsey would be a, a welcomed uh, tactic, I believe, by his corner. Rumsey is not afraid to scrap. He's definitely staying cool under pressure. Long time left in the round. Dempsey's corner calling for knees to the body. And there's a chance that this third and final round may decide the outcome of the fight. That's underlined. It will be the final round originally announced as a five round fight. It's now a three round fight. And the reason for that is Rumsey coming in a couple pounds overweight. They had to change up the, the way the bout was scheduled. Oh, look at Rumsey on the attack. Rumsey realizes he can, he can touch Chris Dempsey. He, he's not having any problem touching Chris Dempsey's face with his punches, but he just can't keep the distance because Chris is right on top of him. And this is where Chris wants to, to do his work. And as soon as Rumsey gets a little too aggressive, Dempsey's able to make contact and initiate this clinch where he just takes control of the fight. Some people get frustrated with him. Rumsey's probably frustrated. He was, he was clowning earlier. You can see by the look on his face, he's like, oh boy, he's got me up against the cage. But you know, it's mixed martial arts. You gotta get off the cage. Under three minutes left on our Armstrong County Memorial Hospital round clock. Rumsey's gonna have to get off the cage, create distance, and try to land those shots that he was landing. Corner's calling for the takedown, but that'll be a tall order to get Dempsey down to the mat. Pretty good takedown defense for the last seven minutes by Rumsey, though. It, it, if Rumsey took Chris Dempsey down, it would be the shot heard around the world. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna happen, but he's also gonna have a very tough time. Dempsey's back to the double underhook, so Rumsey's in a bad spot here. He needs to... Whoa. And that's what happens when you give up double underhooks. Dempsey just dropped him right down and tried to hop over the mount. Made, made a thunderous takedown. Made a really big move and got one of his legs trapped. Dempsey would be well advised here to land some elbows if he can to keep him short, not really raise up. Oh, Rumsey's back up. Yeah, he used that underhook to, to try and set up a sweep. And as Dempsey countered his sweep, Rumsey was able to hop up back to the feet. Guys, there's, there's, there's a phrase that the Gracie's really made popular in uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Position before submission. That might have been one of those moments where it's better to take just a second, establish your position, then start to land some short punches and elbows and try to finish this fight out. Instead, you know, he postured up and you give your opponent room to move. Dempsey's back on that neck. But Rumsey's really good at sliding his head out. Some of that sweat's probably helping out now that we're in the final minute of this fight. Yeah, we're coming right down to that last minute, as you can see on our Armstrong County Memorial Hospital round clock. Dempsey's got double underhooks again. He's gonna look for another big takedown. Up, uh, but Rumsey's able to pummel out. And Dempsey's right back to the underhooks. So they're really battling for that underhook because you saw what happened. As soon as Dempsey got it before, huge takedown. Rumsey's got an opportunity here. Lands a big shot. Let's see if Dempsey stands back and trades for the last 40 seconds. Rumsey's not taking advantage of the opportunity. Big right hand landed with, uh, for Rumsey. And this is a small technical detail, but Rumsey's throwing straight to Dempsey's forehead. At this point, you gotta try to land a shot to the chin, to the ear. You have to really pinpoint, try to knock your guy out. Final seconds. Rumsey should try and hop on that guillotine. But Dempsey's relentless on that takedown to finish out the round. Pretty awesome 15 minute battle to round out the night here. Respect to go, both guys. What a, what a battle, what a battle. We saw some flurries in this main event bouts. Rumsey Here's came out firing. But as soon as he got aggressive, Dempsey was able to lock up the clinch. Eventually, 
That clinch resulted in double underhooks and a real big slam here. That was a thunder, thunderous slam, too. Yeah. Two big guys hitting the mat at the same time. You cannot question the toughness of Rumsey. That's, that is a definite. Uh, also, Chris Dempsey. Chris Dempsey took some solid shots, and he kept coming forward. I'm sure he and his team are going to go back to the drawing board a little bit, work on that striking. Dempsey's only going to get better, I believe. We'll see where Rumsey goes from here. And it all comes down to the judges now. Here in our main event, brought to you by Armstrong County Memorial Hospital. Tallying up the scores. Dan Bogan, our ring announcer, is stepping into the cage right now. As Chip Snyder is looking for both fighters to come over. Let's go to Dan. Still waiting for the scorecard. Now they're handing it to him now. We see Chip Snyder with the two fighters. I would have liked to see in a five round fight, guys. I really yeah, would. I, it's I too bad. Too. Those few pounds uh, cost us a five round fight. It could have gotten even more interesting. Well, Dan has stepped back out of the cage. And for some reason, they're checking the scorecard once again. And. Now he's going to step back into the case. So let's go to ring announcer Dan Bogan. Ladies and gentlemen, did you have a good time this evening? A quick reminder, our next Gladiators of the Cage event will be September 7th at the Pittsburgh Indoor Soccer Arena. It is time to go to the judges' scorecard. One judge scores at 29-28. Judge Lapsevic scores at 29-28. Judge Krishka scores at 30-27. For your winner, by unanimous decision, fighting out of the red corner, Chris Dempsey! We're here again, another impressive victory. This time we get some hardware around your waist. How do you feel right now? Feels pretty good. I actually won this title on my second pro fight, but Mr. Serve said I didn't have enough fights for it, so now, now I earned it, so. Exactly, now you earned it so no one can say anything. Now going into this fight, it was a back and forth battle a lot. Him being a purple belt in BJJ, was that something you wanted to do, keep it standing up? Uh, no, not really, I, I wrestled my whole life, so. I kind of wanted it on the ground, he wanted it on the ground, so it was just it was just chance that it just stayed up on the feet. Fantastic. Does anybody like to thank? I just want to thank all my sponsors, all my gy the gyms I train out of, PTT and Matt Factory. I want to thank all my family and friends that came out to support me, so. Wonderful, Chris. Well, we look forward to seeing you in here again, and we'll see you soon. Here, take care. Thank you. Back to you, Chris. All right, Jessica, fabulous work up in the ring with all of our winners here tonight. Stay with us, we're gonna wrap up our great evening here in Pittsburgh. Coming up next, the Festa Chiropractic Wrap Up here on Gladiators of the Cage.